Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we'll step you through creating an end of financial year finalization in the Reckon Payroll app. The end of financial year report provides the ATO with the final employee payroll figures for the financial year. The report also gives you an opportunity to review and correct any mistakes or issues that may have come about throughout the course of the financial year. Before we get started on creating the end of financial year report, let's get prepared for it. Firstly, ensure that you're on the latest version of the payroll app so that you have the latest app and feature updates available to you. Check your app store for any available updates. Secondly, it's really important to ensure all your pay runs for the financial year have been completed and submitted to the ATO via your STP submissions. If you have any submissions that have returned an error status, ensure that you follow up and address the cause of those errors so that you don't face any issues with the submission of your end of financial year finalization report. Okay, let's get started in creating your end of financial year finalization. When you're on the pay run screen, tap the blue plus button in the top right corner and select the end of financial year option. Next, check that you've selected the correct financial year to report on, which you'll see at the top of the screen. You'll see a summary of the total gross pay, tax withheld, superannuation, allowances and deductions for every employee you reported on at any point throughout the course of the financial year. You can swipe across to review the totals for each employee. Please note, the total balances that you see here are the final figures that will be reported to the ATO, and in turn are the balances which inform employee tax returns. This submission overrules the sum of all other pay runs and adjustments made throughout the financial year. Take your time and review the balances for each employee. If everything looks good and correct, tap on the Continue to Declaration button. But what do I do if my end of financial year balances for my employees isn't quite right? The employee balances that you see is the sum of any initial year-to-date balance entered for them, plus the balances in every paid pay run the employee has been included in. So if the balances you see in the end of financial year finalization aren't what you're expecting, then you'll need to delete the finalization and either update the employee's initial year-to-date balances in their profile or edit any respective pay runs that are incorrect. Check out our video linked in the description, which outlines how to make adjustments to existing pay runs. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move on to the declaration and submission of your end of financial year finalization. On the declaration screen, enter your name as the submitter and tick the declaration to confirm you are authorized to make the submission and that the information is true and correct. Tap on the submit to ATO button and you're done. Once your submission has been processed by the ATO, it will return a status message which you'll see on the STP screen. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our payroll app playlist for more how-to videos on the payroll app. For more help and support, visit us at help.reckon.com or join our community at community.reckon.com.